So I've got to per press R on the output block, and then it won't spin like a crazy bastard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Apparently. No more my yeah. no more tunnel vision. Whee. I see a light turning on. <laughs> yeah. Let's just test this. Okay. Pulse test. We <laughs> take one. Oh my god, it came out of somewhere else alright. I'm spinning the other Oh Okay, no, that doesn't I'm gonna just gonna hit it again. Boom! I'm I'm wondering if you if since you're using that the pulse around the map uh, if you could use that as a way of improved propulsion because <laughs> i saw you just shoot across the map when you activated it's, it it's uh, what i found is that it's much much quicker to um to accelerate but it instantly slows down so unless it's unless i can find a way of chaining it have you forgotten it, it, you're an admin? it looks like the star made version of the orion engine yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. There we go. Look at that. It accelerates now. Like it's got four four thruster blocks. <laughs> See, thrusters are just better. Let's that just do one. it again. So I take that out. Right? So really make like output. Um, current. It says current. So you'd think that the bubble would come out of there now. Okay. You think? Okay. Next. Oh, do you know what? That that that, that was centered. Okay, so today I'm trying to do a few weapon tests with this pulse design. So what we've got is the reactor at the back, and I've just put a few style fins on there. And then um, at the front, I've whacked a bunch of explosives, and we don't really know how that's going to perform. So oh, yeah, let's we check it out against this asteroid. Yeah, we do. The more velocity you have, the bigger the explosion impact. Oh, well, that's good. Because it does, it does instant, it instantly hits max speed, so... Yep. What coordinates are you? I want to see this. Okay, so here I am. I've um, stuck a bunch of explosives on the front of this thing, and I'm going to fire at this asteroid. I've got, um, I've got a camera somewhere recording this for testing purposes. So, switching back, and here we are at the okay. boost control. Let's go. Test number one. Uh, the other screen is rolling. Okay. Three, two, one. What? <laughs> it looked like a dart. Yeah, it did. <laughs> but look at it now. Hey, hang on. Do you reckon it still works? Can we escape? Yeah, we can escape. <laughs> yes, and get this. You didn't make a big dent in the asteroid. No. No, it's kind of shallow. Debuffer missiles made disintegrators weaker. Must have done, because I remember them being a lot more powerful. Yeah, okay, I remember I'm them being strong two. enough. I so, looking at... Sorry, Go sorry, ahead. dude. Carry I on. remember them being strong enough that uh, it would take one guy with four disintegrator blocks moving at a slow speed to just tap me in one of my repair shuttles or travel mm. shuttles and one shot me with it yeah yeah a lot of people were surrounding their cores but with disintegrators so if they got owned by a rocket they'd still be able to take the guy out I used to see that in the Thunderdome a lot they'd have like three disintegrators and a core and they'd like limp up to the guy clearly they've lost you know but then they'd do it and they'd win <laughs> with like a core and three disintegrators and um, that's why they banned disintegrators. Yeah, they know. Yeah, but it's all got nerfed. The rebalancing might mean you'll see them again. You never know. Um, but yeah, let's. Uh, so on on this screen, what I've got here is the damage to my um, to my pulse ship. As you can see, the warhead section is completely de destroyed. Um, there's nothing left but the core, the thrusters that were used for sort of aiming, and uh, part of the dock. I'm surprised that the dock hasn't just like popped the back end off because there's not enough room for this to fit in a standard docking grid moving over to uh, the other screen I'm just looking at the uh, damage to the uh, to the asteroid caused by that warhead and um, four, uh, four deep by five wide yeah it's not very big at all it's nothing to write home about 
nothing to write home about at all. Um, you know, you could do better than that with a rocket. But hey, it was a fun experiment. <laughs> I got 564 newtons, 25 second reload, and a 7 meter radius. I think that's okay though, because the ship's so small. Uh, just taking a quick look at the ship, I'm doing an ultra compact version. Um, this could be a lot bigger, so I'm just seeing how it looks with this small size, see if it's actually usable. I forgot to set the, uh, set the point. So it's like horribly off your... Wobbly. It's wobbly as hell, yeah. So I'm just going to get out and fix that. <laughs> it's easy to fix. Really easy. It is. Well, it, no, it, in fact, it actually says, ah, look, they're all saying make output current until you do it. Huh. And you have to t press it twice and then it's sorted. Okay, so... Uh, have we still got no nav? We've still got no nav. Let's see, I could really do with that nav working. Um, Tanuki server. There we go, right. So if I aim back in the direction I came, and hopefully it will be less wobbly. Hopefully. Oh, yeah, that was ultimate, so much less. Well, I'm actually closing on my destination pretty quick. Oh look, look. Ah, it's going to slow down. Oh god, no no no. He <laughs> missed by inches. I nearly hit the camera. Okay, <laughs> so... That might have been something to panic about if you actually did hit him. <laughs> yeah, I've killed my cameraman! <laughs> not again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you just don't find good cameramen these days. No. They all want danger pay. Yep. And Tanuki is no exception. Oh yeah, look at that. It's rotating perfectly. Oh, that's that's interesting. It's rotating perfectly around the lead core, obviously, but it's just interesting because that means that the back end just sort of swings around really quickly. Like a mace. <laughs> yeah. Bang, bang. Okay, let's give this one another shot. So where should we aim? Should we aim for the star? Mm. Up arrow, G, uh, one, and fire. Oh, that's loads better. Okay. You can stop it spinning as well, but if you're in the cockpit, like, <laughs> it'll eventually resume control. So now I need to turn yeah. around. It'll, um, one of the things I found when I was doing testing on my own prototype mm. was if I, uh, fired the pulse and immediately shifted to the forward core, I would get, regain, uh, control and stop spinning and spiraling whatever within yeah. two seconds of the, the switch. Well, this retains 92. So it hits max speed and then it retains 92 until you resume control. Yeah, and if That's you hold bad. down... If you hold down the W key when you switch from the pulse core to the pilot core, mm. you can actually keep your speed. You can actually get back the lost speed from deceleration. Mm. So it's still yeah. I see what you're saying. Right then, time to get into position. And ram an asteroid. Yep. Um. Hmm. Why not aim for the little ledge with that green mineral? A little ledge, what, just to the right? Oh, I see yeah. it. Yeah, okay. Okay, so that's my uh, bullseye. I'm just going to pull it back a little bit. It's an identifiable landmark. It is. So if it, I won't, to... it won't be identifiable in, in a second. Right, and there is... The, that's the mark. Back to the other cockpit. Okay. Three, two, one... Go. Whoa! Okay. I'm not in the ship anymore, am I? No, you're not. Your core completely exploded. <laughs> Do you know it's what? Like that did the same amount of damage. It did the same amount of damage. Flew off towards, uh, 
towards the uh, hmm. towards that other damage spot of the asteroid, and it just poofed, vanished. <laughs> oh, that's loads better. 